we finish our pieces with uh, almost all of our pieces with um, uh, a rotary tumbler. We start out with uh, the tumbling media being a plastic pyramid with uh, some abrasive embedded in it. And it takes off a lot of the tool marks, really softens up all the edges, and uh, sort of like sanding, but all by itself. It takes a couple of hours for the for the first step. After we uh, do the abrasive, we put it in a different media, and this is made out of walnut shells. Walnut shells, and then they're impregnated with a with a rouge, a very light abrasive, and that they we let the pieces ride in there anywhere between between um, 12 and 24 hours. Uh, depends on how rough the piece was to start out with. And then finally to impart, after we get it shined with the walnut shells, we polish it with a stainless steel shot. And the shot is uh, in a variety of shapes, pins and balls and, and oblong pieces, and it gets in every nook and cranny and puts a really high polish on, on sterling silver. At the same time, it hardens it a bit, makes the, the uh, links a little bit more durable, so they're less susceptible to, uh, to bending. And that's how we uh, finish our pieces. We're going to uh, start the process on the bracelet that we've been working on uh, throughout this video, and we put it in the um, um, plastic pyramids impregnated with a little bit of abrasive, and then we add to that a little bit of a soapy solution, low sudsing soapy solution, and general rule is about half filled with whatever's in there. And we simply put the lid back on. These tumblers, I, pick, I picked them up on, uh, well the first one we got to tumble rocks, strangely enough. Had a lot of fun with that. And uh, moved on to uh, well, it just ended up being in the closet for a while, but we found them on eBay because I like to have a spare for something that's this important to our finishing process. Oh, no wonder it was so hard. I already had the rubber band on it. I thought it was a little easier to put on ordinarily. So you ordinarily you put the disc in and then put the rubber band on, but I skipped a step. So it makes a watertight seal and set it on the tumbler. It turns on. And we let that let the uh, let that ride in the um, abrasive for about two hours. So we'll see you then. Our uh, bracelet project's been uh, been in the tumbler for about two hours uh, with that uh, plastic with an abrasive impregnation. I interrupted it for the last 15 minutes and flushed out the sudsy solution and replaced it with uh, fresh clear water, both to clean the uh, the uh, media for the next time, as well as to clean the uh, piece. I'll pull it out and you'll see that, uh, let's get it out first and clear that out of the way. Dry it off on the towel a little bit. It's got a satiny finish to it now, which and it also has all of the little points and potential snags smoothed off to a degree. It's not quite like uh, sanding it off, but it gets a good start. So it's a, ni a nice, pleasant, dull finish, and sometimes I just leave them that way. But um, what we're going to do next, however, we're going to put a shine on them. And to put the shine on, <clears throat> we use the uh, um, crushed walnut shell with a little bit of uh, abrasive in it, rouge, very fine abrasive, to, to uh, put a shine on as the second step in finishing. So I load it in the uh, barrel, and we'll let it wire is pretty smooth to start out with. So 12 hours can be up to up to 24 hours, and it, to get a really nice even shine on a piece. And we'll load it on the tumbler and show you again in about 12 hours. The bracelet project has been tumbling within a uh, walnut shell media. It's impregnated with a little bit of rouge. It's been in there at least 12 hours. And it's going to come, oh my, it's uh, very shiny. 
and you know, <laughs> easily be perfectly okay f to stop there aesthetically. Um, but we'd like to do one more step, and that's uh, using a steel shot media. It's a burnishing media, and it actually burnishes the finish. Um, it's like these little bitty, little bitty pieces um, do a jillion hammer blows on each of those, each of the links and every nook and cranny, and it it uh, gives it a brilliant finish and um, uh, makes it a little bit more durable. So we'll drop it in the steel shot media, add a little bit of burnishing compound, fill it close to half, a little bit less. Makes quite a load for our little tumbler. Seal it, set it on the tumbler, and turn it on, and let that go for about two hours, and we'll come back and see how the burnish piece looks. Our bracelet project has been riding in the uh, little tumbler with, with stainless steel burnishing shot. I opened it up a little while ago and flushed it real well with fresh, cool water to clean the piece up and freshen the shot, and it comes out just bright and shiny as can be. Barrel out of the way. Dry it off a bit. Oh, it's just brilliant. Look at that. Oh, nice. Good sound. It's getting uh, got nice and hard. I think I'll put it on for the first time. Oh, it's a brilliant thing. clip. And that's our Scott's Knot bracelet in 16 gauge. Our bracelet project's been riding in the tumbler with split shot, or excuse me, with uh, stainless steel burnishing shot media. I opened it up a little bit earlier and flushed it real well with fresh water so that I got that out of the way. I don't want it to get absorbed into the piece. <laughs> Where did it go? It's on my wrist. <laughs> 